Everyone is getting crazy about the newly launched 9800X3D, but that's only one of the X3D CPUs that AMD has in plans to launch. And the 16 core 32 thread and 9950X3D is going to be AMD's Halo CPU, not only in their X3D lineup, but in their whole consumer portfolio. If 9950X3D turns out to be similar like 7900X3D, then AMD might not be in the best of the situations. And most rumors are indicating that AMD might have an ace up their sleeve. So let's talk about that. The biggest issue that the 7950X3D faced was with its core parking because the cores were divided into two separate CCDs. A lot of the times, some data needed to travel between CCDs, which introduced latency and hampered the gaming performance of the CPU. And because of that, the mid-range 7800X3D performed way better than the flagship and it remained the gaming champ up until 9800X3D, which now is the best gaming CPU in the market, but it might not stay that way for long. Some recent leaks are indicating that the upcoming 9950X3D might be the best of the best. The unreleased flagship recently got featured in Factorio benchmark and in that benchmark it scored an impressive 654.9 UPS which is higher than the 9800X3D the current gaming champ and the 7950X3D. In the benchmark the aforementioned CPUs scored 553.7 and 427.5 UPS respectively. Now Factorio benchmark isn't the best representation of CPU performance because it takes in not only CPUs performance but also also memories, frequency and its timing and that's the reason the 7800X3D scored higher than the 7950X3D but it should give us a relative idea of how good the upcoming 9950X3D going to perform according to the result. The 9950X3D is about 53% faster than the 7950X3D and about 18% faster than the 9800X3D but I don't think in real world the performance improvement would be this high so always take these numbers with a grain of salt. Also, earlier in a press release, Gigabyte has hinted on their new X3D Turbo mode, which could give this CPU 18% performance improvement over 9800X3D. Now, what this X3D Turbo mode does, that is not clear, at least while I'm recording this video. So we don't know what kind of optimization Gigabyte has done. Would it be similar to Intel's APO or a watered down version of AMD's PBO? Now let's talk about what kind of specs we can expect from this upcoming flagship. The 9950X3D is going to feature 16 cores separated between two CCDs and 32 threads. It is expected to spot 120 megabytes of L3 cache divided equally between two CCDs and a 3DV cache tag. The clock speed should also increase from the 7950X3D now that AMD has switched the cache from top to the bottom, if I had to make a guess, then I would say 4.5 to 4.7 gigahertz as base and 5.9 as boost. And judging by the trend, the TDP could range in between from 120 watts to 170 watts. Also, the CPU would be overclockable like 9800X3D. And as of now, most people are able to overclock 9800X3D pretty well. So I think that the 9950X3D would scale in the same way. So finally, the main question how badly it's gonna hurt your wallet and when it is now confirmed almost confirmed that amd would launch these cpus at ces 2025 and talking about the price we could expect it ranging from 700 to 750 dollars and if most rumors are right and the cpu scales well then it could be a very good option for those who wants a high-end x3d chip without any compromise and obviously who are willing to pay that well. There is another thing that is a great option for you and that is subscribing to my channel because I upload daily tech videos like this. So if you haven't subscribed, well, do subscribe to the channel and if you like the video, hit the like button. If you haven't, feel free to dislike. Let me know in the comment section what do you guys think about 9950X3D and if you want to watch more videos from us, then YouTube thinks it's a great video for you. And if you haven't subscribed, well, please do it by here. It's free.